lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. First of all, thank you for your question. Let's determine what those other sheep are not or who they are not. The Mormon cult has presented the ridiculous hypothesis, now debunked by modern genetic science, that Jesus was referring to the North American Indians. It had been the claim of Mormonism and the teaching of Mormonism from its inception that North American Indians uh, are ancient Israelites. Now, of course, today we have mitochondrial DNA signatures. And the mitochondrial DNA signatures disprove the Book of Mormon. There's an excellent film, a video production called DNA versus the Book of Mormon, which shows genetic scientists from Brigham Young University, the Mormon University in Utah, admitting that they have a major problem scientifically because the DNA of American Indians is not Semitic. The mitochondrial signatures of North American Indians, that is Native Americans, prove that the anthropologists have always been right, that they are descendant from Siberians, people who came across the Aleutian Islands from <coughs> Siberia and Russia and down via Alaska and down into North America from Canada all the way through the United, what is today the United States, Central America and into South America. But the mitochondrial signatures show the anthropologists were always right as to their origins and where they came from. It is not very far from one of the, the easternmost Aleutian Islands to Siberia is 50 miles, 50 miles, not far at all. Um, a far shorter distance than the Polynesians would have, would have navigated in the South Pacific, reaching Hawaii from Micronesia, Melanesia, Polynesia, and so forth. Uh, those people would have trans... Uh, would have traveled even further distances. The difference being, of course, the colder temperatures and, and, and the strong currents. Nonetheless, what we have today of genetic science with the mitochondrial DNA proves the anthropologist right and proves the Book of Mormon to be utter nonsense. In desperation, the Mormon cult has tried to say that God changed the DNA of North American Indians test the faith of Mormons. They come up with these ridiculous things and they counter apologia. Well, anyway, who are these sheep? Who are they? They are essentially two people. One, the diasporic Jews. There was a large Jewish diaspora in the time of Jesus that extended certainly as far west as Rome. It extended as far east as the Parthia. That is what had been the name of Persia at that particular time. There were Jews, major Jewish communities in Alexandria and North Africa, as well as through Asia Minor and into Europe. Cities such as Corinth, Athens, Berea, Thessalonica, Philippi, they all had Jewish communities, as did the cities of <clears throat> the Roman province of Asia, um, Antioch and so forth. The second, and, and there were also Jewish communities in Cyprus. The second is the Gentiles, the non-Jews, particularly the Gentile God-fearers, who would respond to the gospel in large numbers. What Jesus was simply saying is, you're my believers who are here in Israel. I have other believers who are further afield. This broadly corresponds to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Concentric circles expanding. Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria then to the ends of the earth. The other sheep are diasporic Jews and the Gentile nations. That's the meaning. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.